my name is Mr. Zanareg. I've actually been teaching at Downers Grove South for 10 years. Traditionally in a physics class, um, students are usually given an equation where they are supposed to actually test to see um, how that equation works and whatever. Um, now, actually recently at DGS, um, we've actually started incorporating inquiry-based uh, science, which actually forces the students to observe a phenomenon. Um, think about the things that they would like to measure about that and then actually go through, get data, and actually prove the equation that um, is happening um, in the science world. Uh, right now in physics we're working on changing the mass on carts and hanging masses to see how pulleys redirect forces and to see how net force and acceleration relate. So right now we're using capstone and what it's doing is there's a sensor that is connected to the uh, track and with that we can select different uh, like settings that we can use. It has a, an infrared sensor that uh, goes through the pulley and it measures the time that it takes for each one of the uh, spokes of the pulley to go past it, which then it measures that time and the distance that it would take and it records the speed of the pulley turning, which would which figures out the speed that the car is We get this wonderful opportunity to use some great technology so that the kids can get data really quickly and then actually use that data to um, analyze it and uh, come up with conclusions a lot faster than spending time on stopwatches and things. So things that you see in the classroom now are these sensors that can pick up hundreds of data points within a second and the kids can actually use that data and um, analyze it a lot faster. Uh, we hypothesized that in this experiment, as we added a more mass to the hanging mass side and took mass away from the uh, frictionless cart, that the acceleration would uh, go up. And so what we did uh, throughout our procedure was we kept, first of all, it was very important to keep the mass in the system the same. So what we did was we kept putting mass on the cart back onto the hanging mass to keep that system balanced. So at the very end of our experiment, we realized that the more mass that we put on the hanging mass would increase the acceleration of the cart. I think Mr. Zonareg is a cool teacher. He gets the class that a lot of people find tedious or boring. He makes it really fun. And I think it's cool how math and science are mixed together. I really enjoy it. Well, physics is probably my favorite class this year because I really enjoy the teacher because he makes it a really fun learning environment and he engages the students in a way that makes school exciting and what we're learning. I actually graduated from Downers Grove South. Um, and the reason why I'm actually in this position right now is because of the wonderful physics experience that I had here that was hands-on, that was engaging, and actually allowed me to discover the concepts rather than just being science being told to me. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about science education, because I love to give the kids the opportunity to actually do science rather than be told science.